In the Americas, no iron tools or horses. No wheeled vehicles. Yet America's people engineer great monuments thousands of years before the Egyptians. They map the stars with as much accuracy as any astronomer in Europe. And high on a mountain lake in Mexico, they build one of the greatest cities on the planet. Tenochtitlan, capital of the Aztec Empire. Larger than London, Paris, or Rome. At its heart, a stone temple 100 feet high, where sky, earth, and underworld meet. The center of a civilization dedicated to human blood. One hundred miles from the city. Aztec warriors are on a hunt. Their prey, not animal, but human. They chase down the leader of an enemy tribe. not to kill. They need to take him alive. <laughs> to keep the universe in balance, the Aztecs believe they owe a debt of blood to their gods. Today, a special offering. Tlawikole. Skilled warrior, bitter rival. The Aztec's greatest prize. Fighting for his life. Aztec men are trained to fight from puberty. The fiercest become jaguar knights. Their weapons, not metal. But obsidian. Volcanic glass. So sharp, some surgeons today favor it over steel. It is the most superior cutting material known to man. Perfectly capable of cutting a man in two. Tlawakole's weapon. A club decorated with feathers. Not only is it terrifying if you were to imagine yourself in that position, it's also the opportunity to find out what you're made of. A fight to the death that will become Aztec legend. Tenochtitlan, Mexico, the capital of the Aztec Empire. captive warrior fights for his life.
Jaguar Knights slice at his flesh to wear him down. The Aztecs have created one of the most sophisticated civilizations on the planet. A great city with laws against drunkenness, theft and adultery. Compulsory education three and a half centuries before the United States. A city of philosophers, poets, mathematicians. They valued art, literature, they were a very, very great civilized society. But the Aztecs believe their gods need human blood. Eight men down, and Tlahuacole is still standing. But his strength is fading. cuts him down, will get to wear his flayed skin for 20 days. His family will eat his flesh, giving them the status of gods. Aztec priests sacrifice thousands of men, women, and children a year, up to 20,000 in one of their most important ceremonies one of the greatest acts of human sacrifice in history. The Aztecs are very philosophical about death. Death is what gives meaning to life. And that by having the idea of death, it makes the here and now sweeter and more beautiful. Tlahuacole's beating heart, offered to the god of the sun and war, Huitzilopochtli, guardian of the universe. In return, the Aztecs believe his blood will guarantee a bountiful harvest. A crop that will become key to mankind's future Corn. Six thousand years ago, early farmers in the Americas turn a weed into a cereal that produces more calories per acre than any other, with almost twice as many genes as a human being. Found in a quarter of all supermarket products we buy today. Corn is the staple of Aztec life. 